Last two petals. The front upright fall and, sorry, the front upright petal and the downward pointing fall. So we do this upright first because um, this one, the fall, the front fall is on top of all of the petals. So we do the one behind first, which is this one, and again we do this little dance around the edge, turning the tile as we go. It is not a continuous line, remember? It's um, a dot dash frill with the chisel end of the watch. Um, we clean and condition the brush as before because if you don't keep cleaning and conditioning the brushes you're going to put the colour back as you pull out this light so you always need to clean and condition the brush so now I'm going to pull out the light with this same brush and it doesn't matter where you start really behind the line parallel to pull towards the calyx behind the line parallel to towards the calyx and as I'm doing this you can actually see that I'm getting some quite nice folds in that paint as I go <coughs> turn keep turning and curving that brush to come down to the calyx area Now, I, I started there, so I'm going to have to finish here. Just doing these little areas here, and then soften. So that's the front um, upright. So the next stage is to do this um, facing fall. And that's the last petal to do. So I use the chisel end of the watt again wipe out tool for those that don't know what what means and just very loosely keep turning the tile and dotting and dashing within that petal with the wipe out tool so I'm going to start with this side of the petal and parallel to the line pulled always towards the calyx wipe towards the calyx just going to clean and condition the brush once more because as you pull that paint you get more paint into your brush so you do need to keep cleaning and you can start to see the direction of these brush strokes coming around this um, iris as you turn it towards the calyx okay 